Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Nana Vlogs. My name is Abla Aisha Damnana Fully Cut Nana. Your favorite one for part and if it's your first time on my channel, you're at the right place. Guys, I'm sorry, I'm just like this. I didn't make a proper video when I was out and I just feel like this is important that I talk to you guys. I like talking to you guys even if I'm not doing a sit down video. So today on my channel, I went to the museum here in my degree, both the state and the federal museum and I hope you like what you see and you get an idea about the history of my degree. See you next time on my channel. Bye bye. So guys, like I said, we went to the Federal Museum first before going to the States Museum. And the Federal Museum, they allowed us to film, but the State Museum were told that we cannot film. Though the human leader allowed us to like, have... She said we should take pictures, but fortunately, I took videos instead. My bad. I feel for people to come, that's the reason they don't want the videos out there. So we, we got to see some old artifacts and traditional stuffs that are being used by the canaries to the barbers to the bills to <clears throat> a lot of um Bruno, um people yeah you know they have different stripes on that Bruno, so that is it so we got to see like the mads and crafts mads and all of that the man could not speak proper english so that's the reason why i have to like do a voiceover it showed us the cowries the stuffs that were used to fight during the old times the amlets and all of those stuffs and you guys understand what i'm trying to say now what they use in writing arabic like the there's this thing that they use during those olden days to write the pen the ink and the board or the plates or what do they call it <laughs> guys please help me be below in the comment section so he showed us around Sha. Yeah. so he could not speak proper english that's the reason why i cannot actually like record what he said yeah so from there he showed us the score of the um elephant said the warriors you know when they go on since so i guess they killed an elephant so the, this is this core, she does this core, the ear, the teeth, the trunk, and every every shot. And this is what they use in fetching water during the olden days, like during those days to fetch that from the well. This is the baskets that they put their stuffs and all of that. Sha. And then this is the holy Quran. So this is the handwritten Quran, the one that they use the hands to write, and not the one that we buy these days or we read from the phone so this is like and written quran and then he showed us what they need with like these people make their clothes themselves during those days how they need with their hand and form up clothes everything they use in knitting and the clothes they even made with the knitting and made knitting he showed us and then I, I like zoomed it so you guys can see Raphael walk. I didn't go there and I went with my friend Shegu because his PPA is very close to the place. So this is like hand, wrists, wrists, oh my goodness. <laughs> what we wear on our wrists now, bangles and all of those stuffs, ornaments and those beautifying stuffs that the women wear, showed us. Then leather works, work, works that were made using eye and skin of animals, showed us. And then the drum, what they like to make beats, the drum, the, I don't know, the ones they would like blow air into, the guitar and all of them just like make beautiful sounds. Let me put it that way. It showed us every, everything like that. So guys, these are handmade clay pottery pots by their women. They use it for taking water, for cooking, and all of that. And it showed us their local coolers where they keep food during those days, and where they keep their soup, their stew, their store stuffs, and all of those local stuffs. And I, you guys won't believe that these things still work very fine to date. Like if you used to see. So we got to see the beads and all of those stuffs that we used to beautify their women during those days. And then the fishing... Guys, fishing hook. I don't know why these stuffs are just flying out of my head now that I'm trying to do a voiceover. So it showed us, this is like a boat. 
a wooden made boat it's not like anybody can use this one to swim or, and then a boat that i feel somebody can swim in so he showed us showed us showed us showed us he showed us the hole the cutlass and all of the axe and those stuff they're using farming during those days those stuff they're using fight fighting area. war and all of that and you guys will still get to see i don't know if i talked about it before you get to see like a it's not a bullet proof basically it is a sword proof so guys it took us to a stand where some personal belongings belongings of muhammad shua was i don't know if you have ever heard of who muhammad shua is but he was a major general in the nigeria army and he was killed by the boko haram sects he was the first general commanding nigeria army first division he was said to be killed by the boko haram sects in 2012 november 2nd so this was the chair he was seated on when they shot him like the bullet this is his um walking stick the bullet spots they actually showed us i don't know if you can like take a look and see deeply he showed us the man's stuffs his personal stuffs in his house these are these are the stuffs that kept it there i pray i like grant my genital free house i mean So guys, this is a kenu that was excavated by the Kanem Bruno people, like the Bruno people now. The look at it, look at it from when they were trying to excavate it. They got to they got to know about it in 1998 and it was not easy. But the Shalita excavated it and now it is in it was it was found in Adamawa. But I don't still understand why it is in Bruno, but I feel like I Feel this is in Bruno because of the maybe they were sharing borders during those time and then this is the council of members council of people rulers and people who would king makers and all of king council of king makers council of rulers it showed us like indigenous stuff and pictures of houses in Bruno and all of all of the stuff and he said Ameria and Ango this is the ideal place are supposed to stay so guys this is the state's museum and i feel like the state's museum is doing well compared to the federal museum the state museum looks more like kept well and the woman was able to speak english so i guess i'll stop talking from here enjoy the rest of the video thank you and please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't this one is that one yes Millet. No, rice. Rice. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, rice. What of this? This is guinea corn. Yes, this one. Um, this is the millet. This millet. Mm -hmm. Then this one is beehive. Okay. That's how they cut. They get one. Then all these things are Gambia works. Our people were using to help them in doing their own work. Like this one, traditionally it was used as their Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And this one is, you know, it's one of the global states. Yeah. So this one is.